Hi there. I'd like to show you our motion detection module for the Sienna processing engine. This was originally designed for a British broadcasting company for one of their key triannual wildlife programs. The module is designed to trigger recordings based on motion detected images, but it can of course trigger other actions based on motion detection. For our demonstration, we're going to show you a typical natural history use for the module. Sadly, it's a dull day here, but we have a squirrel dray on a long lens and we want to set the module to go into record when something interesting happens up there. There is a reasonable amount of wind today, the potential for all sorts of false triggers, so we need to set the module according to our situation. Speed sensitivity determines how quickly things need to be changing to trigger recording. So say between one frame and the next, or between several frames ago and now. So this allows you to pick up things that are moving quite slowly. Contrast threshold determines how different things have to be visually from their background in order to trigger. Trigger area determines how big an area on the screen has changed in order to trigger or not. And once you are triggered, you can use record hold area to stay triggered. Record run determines how long after a trigger you continue recording. The module sends out metadata instructions when something's detected, but it can also send out native NDI PTZ upstream record commands, and you can set it to record on your upstream device. You can also opt to use a PNG mask path and mask off areas that you wish to exclude from recording. OK, so here's our preview output from the module. The red bars top and bottom tell us we're in a record state, which in our case was triggered by the wind blowing those leaves around. The pulsing yellow areas are areas of motion that are sufficient to keep us in record, blue areas are beneath the trigger threshold, and red areas are sufficient enough movement to trigger a record. As the wind is causing us some problems today, let's increase the threshold in the settings. I've set my threshold to 1916. As you can see, we've still peaked, so we need to increase our thresholds even more. And uh, as you can see from the module, there's quite a lot of flexibility with these parameters. The figure top left of our preview is the instantaneous motion area, and the right hand figure is the peak motion area. So to explain what's going on here, when the module goes into triggered state, it sends out a metadata message, and we're using our metadata engine to manipulate NDI metadata and control other things. In our case, we have a script that turns the metadata into a power control or an NDI recorder, and this puts the NDI recorder into record, as it has actually just done so this second. And yes, if we look at our preview, we can see we're back in record, so we can go ahead and make more threshold changes. Our metadata engine then is essentially controlling our NDI recorder and the NDI recorder is recording the content to disk. And these then are the main components you need for creating a triggered recording system. Something else we can do here is add a record delay with our sync delay module, which I'll wire up and set to five seconds in order to create a pre-record. Now, everything we record is five seconds in the past, and if we send the video signal directly to the motion detector, it will trigger it and capture the last five seconds in the recorder. Obviously, with that added, we now want to add a record run on so that we don't miss the end of the recording. So there we have it. We now have a pre-record based motion capture system. The workflow we have here is scalable, most of these modules are doing light work, so if you wanted to scale this out to a larger number of cameras, perhaps for a reality TV program or for a wildlife production that has cameras all over the country, then you'd certainly be able to do that with our system. Here's a genuine recording made with the system. It had been running for three days when this lovely female greater spotted woodpecker came into view on our old black poplar tree. If you have any questions or want to know more about Sienna ND, jump over to www.sienna.tv forward slash NDI. Cheerio!